Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Rohan Bijou and today we're going to look at the Dell S2721 DGF gaming monitor. So I actually got this from Best Buy for about $300 and it's actually really surprising that this monitor, I got an offer at $300 but it usually costs $500. But still, it has a ton of features packed into it that just makes me wonder how they could afford to, you know, bring the price down at 300 because there's a lot of jam-packed features and kind of hits all the sweet spots for both gamers and just people who want a really premium monitor for their work life. So it hits a lot of those spots and I'm gonna talk more about this in this video. So I'm gonna get a bit more detailed about each feature, how it's great for gamers and just people uh, who just wanna use a very premium monitor for their work or, you know, school or anything like that. So in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna talk a bit more of the specs features, my thoughts on them. And then finally, I'm gonna give my final thoughts on the monitor itself and see if it's worth it or not. And if it's probably the best gaming monitor we've reviewed on this channel. So before we start the video, please subscribe to this channel if you wanna watch more future content like this. Like this video and comment any questions and concerns, and I'll try my best to answer them. So without further ado, welcome. Techno review. All right, so let's first start with the unboxing itself. So the box is a really nice design and you see off-brand Optimus Prime himself stepping outside of the screen and that's pretty nice. Now let's actually open the box and see what we find inside. So let's take all the accessories and take them out of the box and just place them on the table. So inside we can find a manual, a power cable, a USB-B cable, an HDMI cable, and a display port cable. You also get some paperwork and you also get a nicely designed base. Next, let's pull out the next two important parts of this entire monitor, and that's the neck of the monitor and the screen of the monitor itself. The neck feels really sturdy and really well built, and just like the base, they have a really nice design and they feel really hefty. Let's keep them aside and take out the monitor. When taking a look at the monitor, it looks and feels hefty even though it's just made out of plastic. Let's connect the base and the neck of the monitor by putting them together and tightening the screw on the bottom and then we can place it into the designated slot on the back of the monitor. This is also the spot for the vest mount, and we'll get more into that later. And let's connect the monitor to power, hook it up to the Xbox One X, and you know, streamline all these wires through the designated wire management hole, and we're all set to start using the monitor. So that's awesome, and that's it for the unboxing. So now let's move on to the specs. Let's first look at the physical aspects of the monitor first. The screen is a matte screen that handles reflections really well, and with the added brightness of the screen, it can combat that reflections really well, and we'll talk more about the brightness later on. And you don't have to worry much about, you know, a lot of reflections affecting your gameplay, and it'll look really nice. The monitor's design looks decent and hits the sweet spot for most gamers. It has a really nice design Design and can blend in with most people's setups. The blue LED light on the back is a huge plus for me and creates a really nice aesthetic. There's also this ridge design on the back, but it also doubles up as vents by pushing air through the back of the monitor. Adding onto that aesthetic is the base. It looks very modern and complements the back of the monitor really well. If you don't want to use the base, you can use a 100 by 100 vest mount, and that's totally up to you. In terms of the build quality of the entire monitor, it's completely made out of plastic, but it is extremely sturdy, so there is no noticeable weaknesses or unsteadiness. The monitor is extremely versatile and can swivel, tilt, and can be adjusted height-wise. You can also make the monitor completely vertical, which might be helpful to a lot of people. On the neck of the monitor, there is also a nice hexagonal hole that can be used for cable management and keep all the cables streamlined, which I found really helpful. The power button is on the bottom right and the control buttons are on the back, which includes a joystick, a couple of shortcut buttons, which is a really smart idea. Now let's talk about the ports on the back. There are two HDMI ports, one display port, four USB 3.0 ports, one audio out port that's 3.5 millimeters, and a USB-B port. So as you probably noticed, there aren't any speakers internally in this monitor, uh, which is a bummer, but there are multiple monitors out there with speakers integrated into them. And one of them is the Asus Tough Gaming Monitor, and the link will be uh, in the iCard above, somewhere right here. All right, so now let's get into the internal specs of the monitor itself. 
It has a nice 27 inch matte IPS screen that runs at 165 Hertz. If you use the display for it and it connects to your own PC and it actually runs at 144 Hertz. If you use the HDMI cable, if you are going to use any of the latest consoles, like the Xbox series X or a PS five, you can expect the monitor to cap off at 120 Hertz. The display is 1440p, which means you get some crisp gameplay. And that just basically means that it's a 2k display and all the images look amazing because the Dell 27 gaming monitor is VESA Display HDR 400 certified. This ensures high clarity and some amazing contrast. You can see up to 1.07 billion colors. The monitor has 100% coverage of the sRGB color space and 83% coverage of the Adobe RGB and 95% of the DCI P3 color space. The contrast ratio is 1000 to 1 and the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. Even though the contrast ratio is listed as 1000 to 1, it still feels a bit iffy, I still feel like the contrast ratio wasn't as high as it was and how it was actually advertised. And there was a bit of mushy areas, but it looked very crisp. It's basically not noticeable only if you are really, really focused on trying to find that contrast. Only then you can notice that sort of problem. There's also one thing to note though. There is a little bit of black light bleed, which just some people might not like, but it doesn't really affect your overall gameplay that much unless you're playing games that are really dark like Batman Arkham Knight, which I actually test this monitor with. The input lag is also amazing for this monitor. It has 3.7 milliseconds for a 165 Hertz display and 11.1 millisecond input lag at 60 Hertz. The monitor has AMD FreeSync Premium Pro support, but it is G-Sync compatible certified. So it works by default with NVIDIA GPUs as well. So you don't need to mess around with any of the settings. You will need to use a display port for the G-Sync to work, but FreeSync can be used across all the ports and is available for this monitor. The response time stated is about one milliseconds. The viewing angles are really nice for this monitor. So colors won't deteriorate as you are looking at this monitor from different and extreme angles. There is a menu where you can change various modes like the color setting, but I did find the standard to be the best one so far. The design of the menu also looks really nice and really clean, but it just looks a little bit devoid of life. But overall, the menu has a ton of adjustments you can enjoy and it's absolutely awesome. So that's it for the specs. So now let's move on to my final thoughts and what I actually think about the monitor overall. So I think this monitor is really great for a different amount of people. You don't only have to be gamers, but you can probably use it for work, for some, you know, having a premium monitor for work or school or, you know, editing videos or just watching movies in general. You can definitely use this monitor. The things that add to that is the crisp display with some vivid colors and it just looks absolutely amazing and the images are crisper than ever. Uh, there might be some backlight bleed or some low contrast, but it's almost not noticeable unless you're playing really dark games or just watching a really dark scene. Uh, it's almost not noticeable at all. And it works perfectly fine if you aren't very annoyed by that. The versatility is a huge plus for me. Just having that opportunity to be able to uh, swivel, tilt, or just making the monitor vertical is really amazing to me. And it will be amazing to a lot of people. I know a lot of people who would like to use this monitor as a secondary monitor to keep on the side and vertically. I know a lot of people do that. So this has that versatility and you can do that with this monitor, which is really nice. The high refresh rate is also a huge bonus and feels buttery smooth while I play on it. I actually connected my Xbox One X, as I said, in the unboxing and actually played games like Jedi Fallen Order, Halo Infinite, Batman Arkham Knight, and Forza Horizon 5. And those are really great games to test out all the dynamics and they're really cool. I really enjoyed playing those games on this monitor and you can definitely see why this monitor is really popular amongst gamers and just people in general. I think Arkham Knight is a really good game to show the contrast ratio, as you can see, it's really great. And even though some tests show otherwise, it looks fabulous on, you know, regular gameplay. Halo Infinite and Jedi Fallen Order was really immersive on this monitor, and it definitely feels a bit more crisp and vivid than many of the other monitors I've actually reviewed on this channel. The menu is also great and just the overall design of the monitor makes it stand out from the rest and sort of makes it a bit more uh, of an Alienware sort of monitor than, you know, a Dell monitor. It looks way more well designed than a regular Dell monitor. But overall, I think this monitor hits all the sweet spots a lot of gamers want, kind of hits all those check marks of, you know, having a 165 Hertz display, a 1440p display, matte IPS. And, you know, a lot of people really want that and hits all of those spots and it works really well as a monitor. So that's it for this video. So if you want to buy this monitor, I'm going to leave a bunch of links in the description and I hope you found this video helpful. So subscribe to this channel if you want to watch more future content like this. And if you found this helpful and comment any questions or concerns about the monitor and I'll try my best to answer them. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you next one.
Peace.